first thing you're going to see is your organization dashboard. Click right here and drill down under dashboard and this will show you how many processes you have a month so because this is a new free account I have a thousand operations that I can use and a thousand left and the cost is free this will show you just a kind of a little neat graph chart of the operations that you're using each day and when you're ready to upgrade you hit upgrade and you can choose the plan that's right for you full disclosure guys this $16 plan I have never used 120,000 operations and honestly most of the time I could get by on 10,000 it's only on months where I crank my print on demand stores and stuff like that into full product creation mode that I even come close to going beyond that when you first get started, you'll see up in the corner, it wants to walk you through a basic tutorial of the system. And it's got this little call to action right here to start building automated workflows. Click here. And then what you do is you create a new scenario. Make calls its workflows scenarios. So in other systems, you'll have different things like processes, workflows, automations. For make, they refer to it as a scenario. So here we have our new scenario and every new scenario starts off as a blank slate and the option to add your first module. You need to decide what it is that you want to automate. The first module that you create in any scenario will be the first module that executes. So you have to ask yourself, what do I want to do first? And then where do I want that data to go? And in this case, what I'm going to do is a simple two module workflow that is going to take a prompt out of a Google Sheet, feed it into DALI to generate an image, and then I get an image. I'm going to add, got Google Sheets at the top, but if you do not see your module, you might want to type in a search down in the search field, and you'll be able to find it. Google Sheets, and then you'll want to scroll until you find the specific module that you want to use. In this case, I'm just going to use Get a Cell, which grabs the information contained in one cell and returns it to this workflow. Get a Cell. Now, first thing you'll notice, it's asking me to create a connection. Every time you go to use a new module where you've never connected to that platform through Make before, it's going to ask you to establish a connection. For Google and Facebook and Instagram and a bunch of the other kind of modern services that have a single sign-on user experience where you can sign on in different ways, typically they are going to have a very easy connection in Make where you click Create Connection. Then you say sign in with Google, and if you're already signed in, it'll pull your information in. If you're not, you'll have to sign in to Google. Once you sign in, you select the account that you want to use. Click continue, and that establishes your connection. Click allow. Very important, if you don't allow it permission, you won't be able to do anything here, so always allow. Give the module the permission that it needs, and now we have our connection established. So if you do not already have an account, you're going to need to go to platform.openai.com. That'll lead you to a screen like this. Don't have an account, sign up. Go through the sign up process. Once you are in, once you're done with the sign up process, go ahead and sign in. Once you are in, where you're going to go, up in the right hand corner we've got this little gear you're going to click on it this will give you your organization ID right off the bat right underneath your organization name you're gonna to wanna to copy that put that in the organization ID space and then you're going to want to grab your API key which will be under your profile user API keys and you will wanna generate a new one Make sure you copy it here because once you generate it the first time, you're never going to see it again. If you need to get it again or reestablish your connection, you'll just have to generate a new key. Grab that key, copy it, paste it down, save, and once you're done, you have established your connection to OpenAI and you may proceed. I have selected these two modules for my getting started lesson for a very specific reason. You have now just seen the way you connect different types of modules. Every single module that you could ever hope to connect will be connecting in one of those two ways, either with a single sign-on or you'll need to retrieve your API key and client ID, secret, etc.